Well, it all started when Melissa and Cheyenne reached out to us earlier in the school year, and we had started to participate in the programs pre-pandemic, but fell off for obvious reasons. And when they reached out, I thought, great thing to get back into um, for the environment and taking care of our school and our planet. The response has been good. Um, Pat Manzi, our custodian, and Sarah Keon, our uh, lunch monitor, have um, really jumped in and been super helpful, kind of leading the program. Um, and other staff, our lunch staff, have jumped in as well to uh, help everything run smoothly. It's pretty simple. Uh, the kids took to it very quickly. We started, I think, early January. Um, they come up, they put, basically put any kind of trash or plastic to the big trash barrel. Then they put all their compost, which, which they normally do, we'll take a tray and just dump all their food right into the compost. And if there's any food rescue that they want to uh, put into the coolers here, and that gets donated to the Boys and Girls Club. The program, I think, is extremely important, and it makes the kids feel amazing when they are giving, they're rescuing the food and they know where it's going to. Stuff that goes into the compost bin can go into like soil and like crops and stuff. So I know that the compost bin has all the leftover food in it, the trash bin has all the trash, and the food rescue bin has all the unopened foods. It goes um, to people who need it or the food pantry. It was important to communicate very clearly to the kids um, and we did that repetitively and it's to the point now where they don't actually need the signage anymore they know what goes where <laughs>